Okay, so I'm here with Jonathan Driscoll, uh, Betfair Poker Canadian uh, brand ambassador. Uh, how's it going, John? Not too bad. Yourself? How's life here in the, this beautiful house in Vegas? Uh, it could be a little better. I mean, uh, the summer has been uh, treating me uh, not that great or the World Series, but I mean, I can't complain. I got no. the main event still uh, uh, playing right now. I just finished day one yesterday. Um, did okay. So, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, going to be a good... Uh, a good uh, final tournament. Yeah, good, good, good to hear. Um, can you explain how how you how you go about getting a house like this and getting putting that together with with your friends and stuff? How does that all work? Yeah, I know. Uh, for sure. Especially with how lazy most uh, poker yeah. players are. Uh, no, actually, there's a few of us. We've been together for like uh, probably I think it's our fourth year. Yeah, that we rent a house, and. Uh, I guess everyone somewhat takes their turns to actually find a house, so we try to find the best thing because uh, some of them are overpriced and everything. But I mean, the main thing that we try to find enough rooms for everybody, and uh, we just want to stay here instead of because we're here for a month and a half normally, so it'd be a little too long to be in a hotel. Yeah. And uh, it's a lot more like being at home, and uh, you know, you could buy your own stuff, and you don't have to be in casinos all the time. So it's definitely uh, something that we try to shop around for probably six months before uh, to make sure we get a good house because they, they uh, get taken up pretty quick actually. So how many years you've been in, uh, been coming here then? That, how long you been playing poker for? And can you go into... Uh, for poor, you mean to come to World Series or? World Series and like how long you been playing poker for? Well, it's my fourth year of the World Series. Uh, right away when we started, we rented a house. So that's, for, I think it's our fourth year. Um, poker I've been playing, I guess, for uh, probably eight years. Um, I guess I started out like everybody. Uh, we were playing with friends around the t yeah. the dinner table and uh, playing those sit and goes and uh, and uh, but more seriously, I guess probably like five six years ago. What what made you get into it? Was it? Uh well, I think I've already I've always had a talent in um, in uh, games in general and like strategy games and uh, and in terms of logic and all that and uh, problem solving. I think it's always been math has always been my top subject at uh, school. And uh, so all those together, I've always made, I guess, they were good skills for me to have to start playing. And I figured I was winning a lot more than I was losing when I was playing with my friends. And so I decided to start playing online. Um, and then since then, I guess I deposited a small, I deposited $600 and since then, since then I never deposited it again. So uh, really, say six years one ago. deposit. Yeah, one deposit. One deposit your whole time. Yeah. So right from the, the right from the beginning when you started online you were making money. Yeah, well I think <laughs> that's a that's a funny thing though. I don't think I've ever would have played if at the beginning for sure I wasn't good. I mean, yeah. uh, I just got really lucky. Uh, I think I got really good lucky because I got really lucky. I brought up my bankroll really fast and uh, because of that then after that I said no, I'll slow down and I'll start actually learning the the game studying the game and uh, so I started learning and studying it, and then I took the steps that we should be taking uh, to go up. So it started at like one, two, which was probably a little too much, but anyway, <laughs> I think yeah. I ran well. And then I went up and I went up, and now I play uh, higher stakes. Uh, since three, four years, I play like five, ten, and, and up. So you think your skills are mostly developed from your school background, I guess, or your analytical side of things? Well, I think, it's, I think a lot of it, I was born with that. Yeah. But I mean, that's not all. I mean, different people look at the game differently. Uh, I'm more uh, an analytical or uh, more problem solving, more mathematical. So I'll view the game a lot different than other players. I'm not saying mine is the best way to look at it, but it's just the the skills that I have to work with. So yeah. that's what I've always used the most. That's and how I, you get your edge or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah.